pans you need to be clean prior to start prior to start because we don't know who touched them in the past but anyway we just want to be very uh i don't do that but i know who is you know i know but yeah yeah so, i get you in the I'm gonna chop up my tabbouleh very, very small. Can when you use so this is all the parsley I have left. I can use yeah. even the stems, right? You can use everything. You can see, but just make sure it's very thin. So you start it like this. You hold it tight and you just cut it like this, like that, until the, until the end, and then you mix it together. Twice. Yeah, and then you can go over it. You know how I used to do it. When I, you were young, I would take yeah. a, uh, a nice grandma. Yeah. While cooking with you and Teta. And, and at Carnival, which is our favorite Le Lebanese restaurant, Palestinian food, Lebanese food, they make everything good in the valley. And by the way, you should tell people. Here if in you're in LA, in LA, in the valley on Woodman Boulevard, and uh, believe me, sometimes they cook for the masses. But if you tell them what you want, they make it exactly the way you want it, just like, like your grab. Because there, there's a guy there, his name. Chef, his name is Wahid. He's amazing, the amazing chef. So call him personally and say Muhammad, and he is a very, very nice, and he will adapt to the, the taste you have. If you're say you are Palestinian, Syrian, Lebanese, because we we all have different tastes. Okay. And when and when I was little, I used to go to Carnival and and cook in the kitchen with Wahid, and yeah. I would. And I would go out like as a seven year old serving the food and get me, but I thought it was very grown up. You loved it. You loved it. You're like seven, eight years old. You would go around and already tell people what shit. And I think that people followed. All right. So back to tabbouleh here. So now I am, I already made my tabbouleh here and I'm going to put my. Uh, 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 the uh, lemon and olive oil. So Wait, so, so what, what do you have in the tabbouleh so far? You have the parsley? I have, uh, in, in the tabbouleh, I have parsley. And what you do is lemon and olive oil. That's it. It's very simple, very easy, very clean. And you can make your tomato big, small, but I like them very thin, very small. And you and the onions are very small, so you can use onions or you can use scallions. Okay, I have scallions. Which, okay, you can you can go ahead, yeah, take that and cut them really thin, thin. Yeah, that will that will do the same. It, once you put them all together, it smells the same. Yeah. Okay. Let me just put that um, now I'm watching my uh... okay. okay is that is that enough onion or a little bit more for the let me see no that's enough yeah just okay. mix it really good and you how much use... and how much mint mint just uh, like uh, a uh, two, two spoons two spoons for, you have you have fresh mint this much? That much? Not that much, like this much, this much, like the ends. Okay. Okay. Is that and enough? Just cut them, cut them really thin. Is that enough mint if I cut it? Let me see. Yeah, just cut it very thin. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I always have these dishes that you could do very fast, yet they are really 
full fills you up, makes you feel home. You feel like your mother or grandmother or great grandmother is making them because these are like somebody when you want to do something. Minutes. It's really you can have it. We can turn them over to the other side and make salad. We can make. Uh, uh, I make other things. Next time we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do fish and fish. That. I don't mom, eat fish. Huh? A lot. I like sushi, but I'll make. I'll learn to make fish because. And very uh, tasty. And it's a uh, very simple word. That, that will do maybe the next couple of days. But I, I want, we want to start doing it. I mean, this, this here, this, this much tabbouleh, it can feed you for four, three, four days. Yeah. Even though you, you don't have to eat it all at once, you can put it back in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and eat it in it for a couple of days. And also, I'm going to teach, we're going to teach in the next few days because we're in quarantine and we're bored. And we think that maybe you are bored and we are bored. Let's get bored together. <laughs> and and let's, let's cook with the hadiths. Next time, hopefully, some, another hadith will show up somewhere. Maybe Bella or Anwar or... Alana. Alana I mean, Alana and Marielle can cook a storm. I mean, Marielle is a chef, really is. I know. No, uh, 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 Alana is more, she's precise. She likes her food differently than, because she knows how to make, like, shrimps, and she knows how to make. She makes really good, I, I love host like she can do like, like a dinner and appetizers and like yeah. make everything look beautiful and Alana is very good at like like seeing what she has in the fridge and like putting oh. stuff together oh, oh yeah oh yeah just like me I mean she learned that from me I think because I was uh, and her mom her mom is really an amazing look at fava beans because they're, they're in season now. Fava That's beans great. are in season. And these are, I make differently. And uh, garlic and, and, or I can cook them in rice. And they're amazing in rice. It's a, they call them, we call them rizuk food. Rizuk food means rice and fava. Beans. And now they're in season. Is they're on season only for for three weeks. So if you're really? gonna get them, you should get them now, now and put them in your fridge because it's almost impossible to find in another week or ten days. Now, and my kids teach me that we need to eat healthy to stay healthy and stay, stay awake and and uh, and away from. Uh, 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 microbes. So we are we are we are very conscious about our surrounding to make sure is so. This is actually ready. And I don't how know many how many lemons should I, do I need for the? Tea? Well, I I I did the uh, uh, three big lemons here, but I don't we don't need that much for. It. So you just have have to put. You can feel it almost. You know, just make it a little bit wet in the bottom. You put the olive oil. Mix it, you know, you can feel it. You can feel it, it's wet and it's, uh, it has, it's soaking in. The, uh, the mixture is soaking in, like it's soaking in all the juices. You know, I mean, if, if I, of course, I'm alone. Oh, oh, oh. I'm good. 